spring colors. I'm throwing products. Hi everybody, welcome to Fun Friday. That's the last one in the lineup, Fun Friday, where we're just gonna have miscellaneous videos, favorites like this one, just kind of the videos that don't fit in a category are gonna be on Fridays. So today I wanted to do a spring favorites video because I know it's been a long time since we've done a favorites and I'm a little too late for April and a little too early for May, so I thought I'd just make it spring favorites. I know you guys love these videos, so I wanted to do another one. First favorite is one of my most favorite things I've found in a very, very long time. And they are Toy 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 Designs skirts from Etsy. And they are rehearsal skirts, so they are longer. And these are some of the best rehearsal skirts I've found. Because good rehearsal skirts are really hard to find. These are beautifully made. They have all different colors. Um, I have one in this beautiful kind of pinkish, blush pink. The red, which I'm sure you've seen on Instagram, I was rehearsing for the Kennedy Center in this one, um, and this beautiful sort of aqua turquoisey color. Absolutely love these. They flow beautifully. They just have an elastic waist, um, and they have they have all different styles on there. Again, I'll link all the products below. But they have shorter skirts. They have longer skirts like this. They have the sort of design that's long in the back and really short in the front, sort of the long short skirt. So I really, really encourage you guys, if you're looking for a new ballet skirt, be it long, medium, short, to go to Toy 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 Designs on Etsy. Um, I absolutely love these skirts and I'm, I'm really excited about them. Usually I don't get this excited about something, but really excited about these. The next favorite I'm also really excited about, um, and that is the Yumiko Nail Polish Collection. You guys might have heard of these, but Yumiko has come out with a line of nail polishes that exactly match their new leotard colors. These are the new spring line. Um, I think there are 16 polishes. Um, again, I have the photo, you can see all of them. And they come in these beautiful, simple packaging, just like Yumiko's simple design. Really, really great nail polishes. Again, so many different colors. And if you really wanted to be, you know, fashionista in the ballet studio, you could literally match your nail polish color with your leotard. So I absolutely love these, and they, they are exactly the same names as the leotard colors also. Um, so you know exactly what they are. And they're really decently sized nail polishes. I mean, this is a nice, decent, size. Um, I love the, the sort of nude color called Sweet. Um, it's a really good sort of just simple nude color. Really great formula. I just absolutely love the Yumiko nail polishes. What a great idea, you know, to, to for a dancewear brand to come out with cosmetics. Um, maybe that will inspire other dancewear brands to do that too, but Yumiko nail polishes uh, are awesome. Keeping with the beauty theme right now, um, another thing I've really been into are the hourglass blushes. I have one on right now called Radiant Magenta, and it is this very beautiful sort of champagne magenta mix. And the thing I love about these blushes is that they're so iridescent, they kind of just make your skin glow. A little bit goes a long way, especially with the darker colors. Um, but they just have such a beautiful formula, and in photographs, it just makes your skin look like it's absolutely glowing. And they have a lot of great colors for spring. Um, so I love the, the Radiant Magenta. This is another one of my favorites, Iridescent Electra, which looks like this. Um, and if you want to kind of just sample them out, they also have their three ambient blush palette, uh, which has three shades um, for you to try out. But I just absolutely love the formula. You guys have probably heard of these. They're very, very popular amongst beauty people online because of the beautiful formula and how well they go on. Um, so these have sort of been my go-to blushes as of late. Another skin thing I've been absolutely adoring is this Bare Minerals Complexion, Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream, which is basically, I want to say, a cross between a CC cream, a tinted moisturizer, and a very, very light foundation. Um, this covers exceptionally well while still being very, very light, which is great for the coming sort of hot months coming up, but it also has SPF 30 in it. Um, and it gives you, again, that sort of glow, even tone to your skin, covers nicely, but it makes you look like you don't really have a lot of makeup on, which is really key, again, especially in the summer. Um, so I've kind of been obsessed with wearing this. I wear it almost on a daily basis now. I'm in the lightest shade, Opal 1, but they have quite a few shades. 
has the SPF, and it's also buildable. So if you do need a little more coverage, you can build on it. But um, I absolutely have been loving this. For lips, I've kind of been going back and forth between very sheer lips and not sheer lips for spring. Um, some of my favorite things right now as far as sheer goes are the, the balms by Benefit. This is the Lolly Balm, this is the Bene Balm. Um, they're very, very sheer sort of lip gloss colors, but yet still have some pigment to it. I believe there's also the Lolly, the um, Posy Balm, which is like a, a pinkish color. Um, and they're just great sort of tinted lip balms that are, are super, super hydrating. I mean these, I have one on right now, but I have it on with a darker lip liner. But these are super, super hydrating, and if you also just want a sheer wash of color, these are great, um, and they're really, really great alternative to a lip balm. If you just want something quick, yet gives you a tint. Now, if you want not a sheer lip balm, the other thing I've been into, which I wore in my Q&A video the other day, um, are the Too Faced Melted uh, Lipsticks. And what's interesting about these is they're, it's like a gloss, but it's like a lipstick because it's so pigmented and so rich in color that they go on like glosses, but they're actually lipsticks. And they come in a million colors. These are a very cult item right now. But here are some spring colors. This is Melted Fig, Melted Fuchsia, and Melted Peony. They're just, if you really want a nice, bold color with easy application, um, I love the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks for a more pigmented look. Moving out of the beauty realm, something I've mentioned on here quite a few times, but I've sort of gone back to really using it more, is my Erin Condren Planner. Um, obviously this is a different cover than I had last time. Um, and I've just been obsessed using this thing, especially now with all the new videos I'm doing and all the projects I have going on and everything, I have to stay organized. And so I kind of have a system going. Um, if anybody wants an in-depth look at this, Great, I will give you one. But I have been using stickers to decorate my planner. Um, sometimes I'll print them out. Sometimes I just have them from previous purchases off of Etsy and things. But I've been kind of into printing my own stickers, and that way I can make them exactly the way I want to. Um, and this thing has kind of saved me as of late because I look. I use the month at a glance. Um, to plan out videos and teaching and everything, and then obviously the week by week to plan out um, what I do each day and how to get all of this accomplished. Um, so the Air Content Life Planner, they now come in different styles. They have the vertical style, they also have a horizontal style. Instead of being laid out like this, it would be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. Um, and they also have an hourly um, layout now, so you can literally plan your life hour by hour. I don't, I'm not that crazy of a planner person, but these are the, in my opinion, the best planners out there, and there's, obviously you can customize the covers and everything. Um, again, I've linked it below where you can go and purchase one. Absolutely adore my planner, and quite frankly, probably couldn't live without it at this point. So finally, some non-item things. TV as of late, I haven't been watching that much television as of late. Um, but when I do, I've been watching a series on PBS called Grandchester. It's a smaller series, I think there were only six episodes this season, but I got into it because it aired, I think a year ago, the first season aired after Downton Abbey on Sundays, and you guys know I'm a huge Downton fan. So I started watching Grandchester, and I absolutely love it. If you love period dramas, specifically the 50s, because it takes place right after World War II, um, that kind of fashion. Um, crime drama, period drama, British drama. Um, it's about a detective and a priest, and a priest who kind of gets in to the detective world because he's incredibly observant, incredibly smart, and the detective ends up realizing he can't quite do his job without him. And so it's a really, really interesting series, very, very well written, um, incredible acting. Um, so I highly recommend Grandchester, especially if you were, you know, an Anglophile Downton Abbey fan like myself. One last little favorite that I'm very excited about that I haven't announced yet. I think a couple weeks ago when I did the We're Back video, I mentioned that one of the things I wanted to do was have my own podcast. It's happening. June 1st, I will be launching the Catherine Morgan Show podcast through the Premier Dance Network podcast, which is a network created by Kimberly Falker, who, if you've heard of the Balancing Point podcast, where she interviews all kinds of dancers, she is she's established a network 
of dancers, and there are several of us that are starting podcasts. So I'm so, so excited. So there's several of us who have started a podcast. James Whiteside, who is a principal with ABT, has his own podcast. Barry Carolis has his own podcast. Lauren Fadley, who is um, a principal, currently principal with Pennsylvania Ballet, is launching her own podcast. And I am launching one. So I think James and Barry have already started theirs. But mine launches June 1st. Um, it's going to be topic based. Theirs is a little more, I know James's is, is interview based, but mine's going to be topic based. We're going to talk about a topic for however long, and at the end of every episode, I'm going to have like five minutes of you know, fun or a product I recommend or you know, just a suggestion or some insider information kind of thing. Um, so I'm really, really excited to have my own podcast. It will be launching June 1st. Super, super, super excited. Um, so stay tuned for that. I will do a whole big announcement once, uh, when it's going to be live and everything. So that's really, really exciting. I'm so happy it happened so fast. So thank you, Kimberly, for that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, spring favorites, kind of just glossed over some stuff. All products are below. If you missed my Nakia, we'll buy a Dare stage makeup look. Um, it's over there. You can click it to watch. Those of you who have watched it, you said you loved it. So that makes me happy. If you have any more stage makeup, requests. We have Makeup Monday every other week, so let me know in the box below. Uh, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on Tuesday.